Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to go over how to uh, replace the scanner unit for Epson Expression Premium XP7100. If you have a scanner here and you don't want to spend all those time to disassemble and uh, troubleshooting it, you can just get the whole unit and replace it. You can go to bchtechnologies.com and go to printer parts and uh, scanner and ADF feeder. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install this uh, XP7100. I like to uh, tape the top cover into one piece. And then if you notice, there's a button here. The bottom part of the scanner cannot be lifted up until the button is pressed. So I, what I would like to do is just tape the top and the bottom scanner together so uh, uh, they'll become one piece. Now we'll turn, turn to the back of the printer and uh, remove this screw on the side. Pull the cover towards the back and then the cover will come out. Let me show you this cover. Uh, on the bottom is kind of a hook. It's kind of, so you should hook the bottom and on the top is kind of a horizontal sliding. So you will hook the bottom press it in, and then slide towards the front. That's how you install it. Almost all the wires are connected to this piece of uh, circuit board. Let's remove those two ground wires first. You may want to use your cell phone to take a picture of the wire so you don't forget. So there's a black head uh, wire uh, with uh, three wires, and there's a white uh, head three wires. And uh, their base also also has the same color, so those two you cannot uh, <clears throat> you cannot mess them up. On the top, uh, there are four wire connection and there are two wire connection, so those you cannot mess them mess them up. Now you can push the wires away. Uh, remember, you got uh, two ground wires, so when you install, make sure you you screw the, both of them into one into the same slot. The scanner also has uh, two FFC cables. The smaller one and the bigger one goes to the scanner, and the medium one goes to the circuit board that we just showed you. So keep the medium one there and uh, pull down the bigger ones and the smaller one. They're going to have a lot of glue on the top, so you need to pull, you need to pull them off the glue. Okay, now we have all the wire detached. So uh, right now we need a Philip screwdriver, uh, Philip number two, and uh, remove those two screws from the top. Open and close the scanner unit a few times, and uh, you're gonna see the scanner unit gonna come off. Now you can pull the wires out, and now you can take off the whole unit. Uh, to put it back, remember the hinge has a 45 degree angle. So pay attention to the slot on the right and on the left. So you're going to put a hinge inside those two slots at the 45 degree angle and push it in and then close it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.